Recovery with Acronis Universal Restore You may need to replace hardware if your desktop or laptop computer crashes and does not boot, or you want to upgrade your existing hardware and replace the old laptop or desktop with a new one. After a piece of hardware is changed, it can take a long time to reinstall and set up your operating system, programs, and copy your files. Sometimes a simple restore operation of the backup, created from the old system, may result in problems. The system might become unbootable, with the blue screen of death. This can happen because the hardware on the new system is different from the old one, and the system does not have the specific drivers to work with the new hardware. The hard drive controller drivers and the Windows hardware abstraction layer should be changed during the recovery operation in order to make the system bootable after recovery. In this video, we will show you how Acronis Universal Restore works, how to prepare to recover, how to recover your system to a new computer, how Acronis Universal Restore works. The Acronis Universal Restore module is a unique technology that facilitates changing the Windows hardware abstraction layer, HAL.DLL, and device drivers. With Universal Restore, you can effortlessly recover your operating system, programs, and files to a new or completely different piece of hardware. Universal Restore installs boot device drivers, e.g. hard drive or RAID controller drivers, into the system during the recovery process, so that the operating system can boot from this device. If the proper NIC drivers are present, Acronis Universal Restore will copy them into the restored system and schedule their installation on Windows Boot Up. More information can be found in this Knowledge Base article. How to Prepare to Recover To recover your system to a new piece of hardware you need, 1. Disk level backup of your system disk or an entire PC backup. 2. Bootable media with Acronis True Image 2016 and Acronis Universal Restore. 3. Extracted drivers for the new hardware. You'll find step-by-step -step instructions on how to create an entire PC backup in our video, How to Protect Entire PC with Acronis True Image 2016. In our case, the image is located on an external drive. To create a bootable media, start Acronis True Image 2016 and in the Tools section, click Acronis Universal Restore. Click Download to obtain Acronis Universal Boot Media Builder. Run the downloaded file, accept the license agreement, and follow the wizard to install Acronis Universal Boot Media Builder. You don't need to change default options. Plug in the USB flash drive or insert a blank DVD. To start Acronis Universal Boot Media Builder, in the Tools section, click Acronis Universal Restore. Select the bootable media type and the way disks, volumes, and network shares will be represented. On the next screen, you can specify Linux kernel parameters if needed. Refer to the Bootable Media Startup Parameters chapter of our user guide for more details. Select the Acronis components to place on the media. So that our media can work on different types of hardware, let's select both 32-bit and 64-bit components. And since we want one bootable media with both Acronis True Image 2016 and Acronis Universal Boot, we will place them on the media as well. Select a destination for the media, for example, a USB flash drive. Specify the mass storage drivers to be used by Acronis Universal Boot. Alternatively, you can add the drivers later when you apply Acronis Universal Boot to a computer. Click Proceed. When the media is created, unplug it from your computer. This is your Acronis Universal Boot Media. Before proceeding with recovery, Make sure you have drivers for the hard disk drive controller or chipset drivers for a new motherboard. These drivers are critical for booting the operating system and will be used by Acronis software during recovery to make the system bootable. The driver files should have the .inf, .sys, or .oem extensions. Use the CD or DVD shipped by the hardware vendor or download the driver from the vendor's website. If you download the drivers in the .exe, .cab, or .zip format, extract them using a third-party application, e.g., a free copy of 7-zip or similar. How to recover your system to a new computer. Make your rescue media the first boot device in BIOS. Boot from the rescue media and select Acronis True Image 2016. On the home screen, select My Disks below Recover.
Select the system disk or partition backup for recovery. When the backup is not displayed, click Browse and specify the path to the backup manually. Select Recover Whole Disks and Partitions at the Choose Recovery Method step. On the What to Recover screen, select the disk you want to recover, or if you want to recover your system only, select the system partition, usually C. If your system has a system reserved partition, you will need to select both the system reserved partition and the system partition for recovery. In this example, we will select the entire disk. On the next screen, select Destination for Recovery. Carefully read the summary of operations at the finish step. If you haven't resized the partition, the sizes in the deleting partition and recovering partition items must match. After checking the summary, click Proceed. When the operation finishes, exit the standalone version of Acronis True Image 2016. Restart your machine. It will be started from the bootable media again. Then select Acronis Universal Restore. If there are multiple operating systems on the machine, you'll be prompted to choose which one to apply Universal Restore to. Specify where the program will search for the hardware abstraction layer, HAL, hard disk drive controller drivers, and network adapter drivers. If the drivers are on a vendor's disk or other removable media, turn on the Search Removable Media. If the drivers are located in a networked folder or on the bootable media, specify the path to the folder by clicking Add Folder. In addition, Universal Restore will search the Windows Default Driver Storage folder, usually Windows slash INF. After you've specified the required settings, click OK. If Universal Restore cannot find a compatible driver in the specified locations, it will display a prompt. Do one of the following. Add the driver to any of the previously specified locations and click Retry. If you don't remember the location, click Ignore to continue the process. If the result is not satisfactory, reapply Universal Restore. When configuring the operation, specify the necessary driver. After the operation finishes, remove the bootable media and reboot the machine. Once Windows boots, it will initialize the standard procedure for installing new hardware to add network adapters, video adapters, USB, and other devices. Thank you for watching.